Okay, building our own AI-powered news summarizer. Let's see what we can do. First thing I'm gonna do is bring over my API keys in my secrets. So I'm gonna call my first one news. I'm gonna bring over my news API key. I'm then going to get my open AI key. I'm then going to bring in my organization ID from OpenAI as well. Uh, now the reason you have an organization ID there is because you could have a personal account and you could also have like a, a business account so you can pull in from each of those different things. I'm going to pull this over to the left, hide the file bar and just start by importing OS and bring in my keys as I need them there. So I'll bring in the news key, I'll bring in the OpenAI key and I'll bring in the organization ID. I'm going to call that news, open AI, and, oh, wrong way around, open AI, and org. Okay, let's get rid of the secrets then, we don't need that anymore. First job, let's retrieve a list of news stories and just get the URLs on the screen. Okay, we needed a country code for this one. I'm going to say UK this time. Uh, and the URL was this F string. Uh, news key is just news this time. So then we're going to do result equals requests, which I've not imported. So let's go and import that. Requests. Result equals requests dot get URL. Where it's get because we're not sending any data to them. We're just using a URL schema there. Data is result dot JSON, please convert this one. I'm not going to print that out. I'm going to jump straight into this for article in data articles. I'm going to make my F string. I'm going to just, well, I'm going to start off by printing out just article URL. So let's just check that works. Something's not working there because nothing's printing. Let's print out the JSON dump from that. Oh, I haven't imported JSON, so let's get that. I think what might be wrong is my country code. Okay, let's change that to US. I'm getting stories there. Let's try GB for Britain. Sometimes I get GB. There we are, it is GB for us in Britain. So you pick the country code of your choice and you go from there. I'm gonna get rid of that print now because I should be able to do that and get a bunch of new stories. Great, I can click on those and I could read those news stories if I wanted to. But let's generate the prompt for OpenAI. So let's make this a F string with three quotes. I'm gonna put in the article URL, summarize in one sentence. So that should just produce a bunch of sentences like that. Now we need to include the OpenAI stuff. So I'm going to bring in OpenAI and I'm going to connect to that before I get down here. So let's connect to OpenAI. Uh, actually, I can use some of this stuff up here, can't I? So OpenAI.organization. Is it S? Or? Yeah, it's spelt in the... Uh, OpenAI.API open underscore key that if I just do openai.model.list that will send a quick query to the OpenAI site and check that works. So we'll run that, we'll let Repl install in the background all that library and this takes a bit of time the first time you see my CPU maxing out there. If you're getting that a lot in the projects you build, uh, buying boosts to be able to increase the CPU power of your Repl or getting the hacker plan are worthwhile uh, because both of those things allow you to increase the CPU power of a single REPL and then you wouldn't be hitting the maximum capacity so much. So I've got all of those. So now what I want to do is send them. So I need to build a response now. So let's do prompt equals. So I've got a prompt. So openai.completion Dot create. Now the model is this one, text DaVinci, DaVinci uh, 002. 
the prompt. It's just the prompt. Temperature is zero. If you're wondering what these values are, by the way, these are the values that control how much and the sort of the quality of the results you get from OpenAI. You can go and read the API documentation if you'd like to find out more about it. But I'm just going to run it like that at the moment, and I'm going to print out. Did I do anything with that? I didn't make it anything. I didn't save it. So response from OpenAI is that. Print out the response. And I believe from what we looked at in the lesson, this was choices. There could have been multiple results. So we look at index zero. Then we look at text. And we had to strip it as well. So let's see what happens here. Okay, I think we need to increase the size. Uh, I'm actually, there's a lot going on there, so I could use up my credits quite quickly. So I'm going to reduce that to maybe the top five news stories. So I'm going to put counter equals zero. I'm going to do counter plus equals one. If counter greater than five, break out of the loop. Let's increase the size of the maximum tokens to something like 20. Hopefully we'll get sentences from that now. That's better. And of course you can play with that, those numbers and see what you've got there. Don't forget to keep going back to your usage and check to see what you've actually used. So I've used two cents worth out of the free $18 I've got. But of course, if you're running this over and over again, if you increase your tokens to something ridiculous, uh, let's go for 50 there. I'm now using a massive amount of my tokens every time I click run and I could hit that limit quite, quite quickly. So if you're not wanting to spend money on OpenAI, take care of those tokens. But there we go, I've got enough now that I've got a bunch of sentences of single sentence summaries of news pages, which is really cool.